£35 Belco 4K action camera from Aldi. It's very similar to the GoPro. Now, if you're a videographer or a ph photographer, you'll know that you can't just have one of anything. Lights, cameras, lenses, memory cards, and same with the action camera. It's handy to have another one. So at £35, I thought I'll give it a go. I did have this on the conveyor belt at Christmas. It was a case of shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I. Oh, I won't bother. I put it back and this morning it was back in LD again, so I bought it. So let's see what's inside the box and if it's any good. Right, let's have a look. I bet it's rubbish. Okay, action camera. Okay, simple. Put me go, bro. Let's have a look. Don't look bad. Waterproof casing. 35 quid for this. That's not bad. Now, what I wonder with this is it, are the fittings the same as a GoPro? So I've got loads of accessories on my GoPro. Don't look bad, it needs charging up now. So I have the Belco Cheapo camera out of the waterproof housing. That's the camera on the right and have my GoPro Hero 9 on the left. I'm charging up the Belco camera, the battery pack. These are really handy for charging up your phone as well and little cameras like the GoPro and this camera. I'll put the links in the description below to everything in the video. There's also a variety of accessories within the case, which is a really good case. And the waterproof housing, that's good to get that within the pack. We'll get it charged and try it out. All charged, back in the waterproof housing. Question at the beginning was, will this work with the GoPro fittings? And the answer is yes. Oh, Gertie. <laughs> The reason I said that is because I have the GoPro dog harness. So I want to put the cheapo camera on the GoPro dog harness and go and try it out. I'm Gertie, if you can see her, I don't know if you can see her, she's going to be the model to try out. It's not a comparison between the GoPro and the cheapo camera, but I will put the GoPro on Gertie too so you can just see the difference. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see if a £35 camera is any good on the GoPro dog harness. Gertie's all dressed in the GoPro Fetch dog harness and she has the cheapo LD action camera attached to the dog harness. Now what I've found every time I've used this dog harness, GoPro Fetch dog harness, that'll be at the front. So you'll have the, you can have a camera at the front if you like and then that is the part which is on the back. I don't like harnesses anyway for the pure fact that the this isn't so bad, but the dog harness will, left on too long, will mat up the dog's coats. No doubt about it, you're all the way under the arms and round the shoulder and the chest will get matted up. But, in this case, this harness, however much you tighten it up, it will move. Now Gertie is not the best mover in the world, if I'm the front of a dog, she paces. So her whole body will roll from side to side as she moves rather than move towards you. So what will happen with the harness, it will start to roll down the side of her body. It's going to give you a good different camera view, camera angle. But every time I've used this harness, exactly the same thing happens. You'll have a few minutes of it dead straight on her back and then it starts to slide around to the side. And that, she won't be the only, only dog what can't move right in the world. So I wonder if other people do have that problem or not. I'm gonna say that is however tight you do this harness, it moves. But if you put the GoPro camera on the GoPro dog harness, the camera I've got, which is the GoPro Hero 9, it works well for the dogs because you do get a funny video because of the horizon leveling and the hyper smooth. So the camera will pick up the horizon and keep it dead straight, but then you've still got the dog wiggling its head and the ears flapping, and it makes for a really funny video. But when it comes to this cheapo camera, I knew exactly what was going to happen. 
because it can't keep the horizon straight. And as I've said, Gertie's going to roll from side to side. So now you're going to get the horizon moving and the dog's ears flapping. And all you're going to do is feel seasick watching the video. So if you're mountain biking or doing some kind of sport where it's a bumpy ride or like the dog, it's going to be all over the place. This cheapo Audi action camera is not going to make for a very good video. I knew, I knew exactly what would happen, that's why I wanted to try it out. But we came back, because she wasn't in a very good mood anyway, Gertie, she was acting up a bit. Came back, and then later on, we went down the park and tried the camera in the water. I got the camera and I dunked it right into the water, brought it back out, and then had just like a little play. The light was going anyway had a little video of Gertie in the water and that did impress me because the waterproof housing what comes with this camera that is like surprisingly good bone dry the camera was and the video because you're not actually moving you know there's no big heavy movement within the water what I was doing that could make for some quite good video footage and as I thought, when I bought it for 35 quid, that will go in my dog bath, my hydro bath, really well. I'll try that out next week in the dog bath. Because, as I've said, I do have a lot of the GoPro fittings and I've got the suction cup, which goes can go on the bath or side of the car, whatever. So, yeah, I do think that will work well in my grooming salon. But as, as it being labelled as an action camera, I don't think it is. I think you would call this camera for 35 quid a w an underwater camera, definitely. But for 35 pound, I don't think it's bad value. You get that really good case. The camera's not bad. For actually taking photographs, I took a couple, but I didn't take, I didn't make any effort in taking any photos. I think they'd take a few all right photos, nothing like the GoPro, because I've taken some really nice wide angle photos with the GoPro and with your GoPro it's the colours of not you don't have to go in Photoshop or anything you just take the photo and the, the tulip photos I took really were lovely photos so uh, I don't know yet with photos but you know for 35 quid I've got an underwater camera well I can stick in my dog bath and you can you're still going to be able to do a few videos the quality is not that good but and then with 35 quid, what do you expect? Now, the next video coming up is, we'll talk you through where I store my video footage. So you might be interested in that one. So take a look at that one coming up next.